Hi, I'm Sam the Lucifer Fanger, and I'm back for episode 15 of More Girls with She Q. Last episode we had what has been so far my favourite episode, which was um, a bit of an expansion on Lan Zhang meeting Ai Yuan and Wei Ying and Yiling. And it was adorable. We had Ai Yuan referring to them both as Adie and then eventually Adie and An Yang, which was just the cutest thing. I'm still not over it. That actually happened. We didn't have uh, Wei Ying saying that he gave birth to Ai Wan, but you know, I'll forgive it for the fact that they actually refer to themselves as like his dads and his mother. It's just so cute, so perfect. I, I couldn't have asked for more. It was everything I wanted. Um, I'm so happy that they did the expansion because up until then, I really preferred the Untamed version because they actually had more interaction with Ai Wan happening in it, whereas in the Donghua, it was a very short scene in which it was mainly just about uh, Lan Zhen coming to see Wei Ying and nothing about Ai Yuan, really. Based on the timeline, I wouldn't be surprised if we either had Wei Ying seeing his siblings um, if, as they come to visit him in Yiling, or maybe something about Jin Ling being born if we're skipping ahead a bit further, or maybe we'll just have a scene in the burial mounds. I don't think we'll skip beyond Jin Ling's birth, apart from maybe talking about his first month celebration or maybe just Wei Ying being excited to be an uncle. I've got no idea what this episode is. So I'm just really excited to get started. As usual, if you'd like to talk about something in the comments, which would be a spoiler for people who've only been watching the Donghua, then please put spoilers at the start of your comments so that people can avoid them if they wish to. Otherwise, I think that's it. I'm just excited to start this episode. So let's get to it. Oh, is it planting Aiwan in the ground? Oh, <laughs> he's got the sign around his neck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Teach him how to hunt pheasants. <laughs> Oh god. Oh. Uh oh, he's gonna, how's he gonna get pulled along by a pheasant? <laughs> Is that anyone that small? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, sweetheart. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, but not as spicy as you. <sighs> no, poor Ayuan. Oh, he's so determined. No, oh, it's going to be too hot for you. <laughs> I'll take your soul back inside. <laughs> Under the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> Weighing, this is very irresponsible. <laughs> I love the little hearts above their heads. They just want to give him a cuddle. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> His dad senses are tingling. <laughs> ah. Oh, I'm so happy. More Iron content. We really didn't get that much, so I'm so 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 happy they're doing it in the Q to B series. Oh, I'm living for this. Wow. Oh, that was adorable. I am wanting to be like Wei Ying. About, like, to be like his mum. <laughs> oh, that was just a really fun collection of just silly moments and kind of bonding between Ai Wan and Wei Ying. Though I think Wei Ying may have got the opposite effect to what he desired. I mean, he's not going to be upset with him wanting to be like Lan Zhan, but 
I love the fact that they included London at the end, just like perking up. He's just like, my son needs me. <laughs> now that was just really cute and silly and I love it. And I really love the voice actor for Ayo and I didn't talk about this last time, but they're so cute. They are just really well done. I was half expecting Wen Qing to start shouting at Wei Ying during this episode for like getting Aiwan so hurt or in trouble all the time. I also like how when Wei Ying thinks of himself, he doesn't think about all the arts that he is really good at. So he doesn't think about the writing, the drawing, the archery, the horseback riding, though. The horseback riding is not really going to happen when they don't have horses. But thinking about the actual things he could teach him, uh, but it's it's... I do quite like it because the things that he is trying to teach him is actually personal to him, not just how to be like a really good cultivator, but just like how to be more like Wei Ying is to be able to do all this stuff. So that was quite sweet. The strength of that pheasant to drag him around through the forest, though. <laughs> that... <laughs> and with this episode, we're now halfway through the series. We've only got another 15 episodes left, which is sad. But then we'll have third season, which I'm very looking forward to. So. As sad as I'll be to miss all these happy times, which I, I will, I'll be missing just these really cute, silly, fun moments, but I'm just really excited to see the third season. Because of the timeline, we're basically in the same position. I'll stick with my predictions for what I thought this episode would be for next episode. So either something to do with Jinling being born or uh, the, Jiang sister, the Jiang siblings coming to visit Wei Ying something along those lines, maybe another burial mound little scene, but I feel like the next one will probably involve more characters. Maybe maybe we'll have something with Wenqing or Wen Ning. I don't know. Otherwise, I think that's it. If you'd like to get updates on the YouTube channel and my reactions, then I have a Twitter, which is now just for my YouTube channel, which is Elusive Fangirl Y where I post things relating to my uploads and schedule changes and I'll also be putting up votes for when I need to do a new show or if I'm stuck between ideas for other types of videos. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and I'll see you next week for next week's reaction. Bye bye!